Welcome back, Baku crew, to yet again another Bakugan Geogun Rising review. This time, it's the Chaos Dragonoid Ultra, which I didn't pick up uh, last year. So yeah, here is the character art for Chaos Dragonoid. And of course, on the back, it shows you that one, and it includes character card, an action card. Gotta love that about older product. Gate card, and of course, the two Baku core. And this Bakugan came from the wave with Pyrus Finica itself, obviously, Chaos Pensator, the Ventus Demark, which I picked up along with this, Arliss Sharktar, Diamond Pensator, and then of course the channel mascot Elemental Finica, which is probably why I wasn't picking this one up. I was too busy grabbing the channel mascot. But gonna yeet that to the side. And let's get right into it. Now, the gate card included is one that I'm sure we have all seen about 100 to 200 times by now. Especially with all the reviews going on. Not going to spend a lot of time on that at all. Now, the set does come with an electric howl. One energy for plus two damage and plus one frost strike. It's not a bad card, but you certainly do get a lot of them if you bought Chaos product during Geogun Rising, um, and I have quite a few of them by now. For Baku Core, this Dragonoid comes with a plus 100 B power, and Aquas and Pyrus get plus 3 damage regular fist, and a plus 100 B power and Darkus and Ventus Bakugan get plus 3 damage regular fist. So whatever the stats, Chaos Dragonoid is a double regular fist Bakugan, which is pretty cool because not only is the Ultra obviously that, but the core Dragonoid that was Chaos also had the same stats. So I find that interesting. And here we go. So, Chaos Dragonoid Ultra, obviously, double regular fist, B power of 800 with 2 damage. And then, if it lands on a regular fist, you are going to get a plus 500 B power boost, making this a pretty competitive Chaos Bakugan. You know, if you use a plus 100, you know, just to give your Chaos Bakugan the extra plus 3 there, you are going to end up with 1400 B power and 5 damage. That's not bad at all. What do I always say? I say 14 and 15 is where you want to be in the Bakugan TCG. That is kind of the sweet spot of competitive Bakugan. So for an older Bakugan, I mean being last year, it still holds its weight. Uh, really decent artwork too. I really like that. I guess there's like snow or something, ice around Dragonoid. Really cool. But now taking a look at the figure, the Geogun Rising Dragonoid had such an interesting design with the proportions, had such a broad torso and large forearms that the legs and lower body is kind of small and uh, kind of shrunken down like it's been crumped, I guess, like a can. But there is a good amount of detail in it. I mean, even though the proportions are smaller you still see every crease and fold of the leg the foot down to the toe claws are painted the knee armor is painted and then when you get up to the arms of course you do get the dark blue core on the shoulders the middle chest and then the fingers are even painted as well then of course the same with the head just really good paint detail there the back of the wings have the light blue Backpack is clear, nothing there. And then some light blue on the tail with the gray on the sides. That's the only gray on the Bakugan too, which is very interesting. So to close up this Dragonoid, you fold the le bottom legs in, head down, tail in, the wings down, and then the backpack piece locks it all together. And here is Chaos Dragonoid all folded up. Very nice, very good. It's not too wonky. Uh, no Alto Bronte's disease, which is good. It's a little loose on the wing fold, but unlike my Pyrus Elemental and Diamond, the tail doesn't fold all the way out, so I am happy about that. Very nice Bakugan. 
let's give it a test roll shall we so I will put the core in the back and then a gate card in the front and test the roll so the arrow on the tail shows it going this way and that's how I'm gonna roll it and it uh, pulls sideways quite a bit I'm imagining that's because of the uh, looseness right there so we're gonna have to roll it a bit harder and there we go so the magnet did pop pretty nice there get the uh, Dragonoid in action but that is the Chaos Dragonoid Ultra pretty good uh, very good stats definitely competitive at least in my opinion I don't know if I'll be using it in a deck profile anytime soon because there are still plenty of Chaos Bakugan and Evolutions I'm working with but not a bad Bakugan to maybe go back and revisit in a later video let me know what you all think in the comments down below don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already for more epic Bakugan content but until next time, stay safe, drum up, and Bakugan brawl.